Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Orlight. Orlight is... Oh, uh, God, I don't even know how to explain this game, but you know what? I kind of do. Okay, so if you know uh, Don't Starve, this game kind of feels like Don't Starve, but... Oh, shoot. Well, here's bug number one. Okay, so, uh, bug number one. If you quit a server and then try and rejoin it, everything gets messed up. Oh, shoot, what the hell is this thing? It's a Roblin? That's weird okay so what is orlight orlight is very similar to don't serve together uh terraria minecraft kind of whatever it's an open world sandbox type game where pretty much what you do is kind of up to you most of it right now involves you know getting resources like potatoes and ore and stuff like that and then trying to survive currently the game's fairly easy to get through generally not a whole lot of like major challenges at least not as far as i'm concerned uh i mean look i'm just kiting this skeleton oh he disappeared from the world well uh i'm just gonna walk away from that okay let's take a look do we have any arrows around the answer is no oh but we do have a whole mass of skeletons rolling in he brought friends he disappeared to the ether and then he's back okay so not really a whole lot of challenge yet, at least not from the basic enemies, which is kind of good. All you have to do is kite them back, and pretty much they go down. It's a little bit slow, but I've got, like, the basic weapon in the game, so I guess it's not, like, that big of a deal. There's no experience meter, and I kind of wish there was. I also really just wish there was uh, some level of, like, resource you could gain from those guys. Because currently there's nothing. Right, this is kind of like a pre-made room. There's no reason to go into these, as far as I can tell. Apart from, like, you can make it your house, I guess. Okay, so premises, well not premises, controls are left click, tax, right click, absorbs. I haven't, I haven't really done much for absorbing. Hello. Can I like use these? Can I open these up? It's like a crate of mushrooms. It's a wood crate with just mushrooms growing out of it. Okay. Anyway, so, you know, the basic controls are fairly simple. Unfortunately, you can't hold down left click to attack. So that means you have to be clicking left and right, and you guys can probably hear that very well. Which is kind of a shame, uh, but still. Okay, so the depth in this game, there isn't much yet. In fact, it's fairly shallow, unfortunately. Uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give a kind of forewarning for this one. This is a very, very early access game. Very early alpha review. Oh, here we go. So chances are... I'm not gonna have really much of a much of an opinion on like half of the game mechanics in this game, if only because there's just there's just really isn't that much to the game yet, uh, which is actually kind of bad. It means that you know this is this is going to be one of those games where if you pick it up on Steam, you're gonna probably have to go through quite a lot of you know a lot of glitches, a lot of errors, this that and the other thing, and it's just going to be generally kind of frustrating. So. Honestly, I encourage you to probably hold off on picking this game up unless you really want to get into it immediately, you know, if this sort of thing looks really cool to you. But this is kind of like if you got into Minecraft at its very earliest alpha. There's really, really not a whole lot of features. It's very, very feature incomplete. And just overall, it's gonna, it's gonna take a while before you're like really into the game. And I will admit, my opinion might change over, over the course of the next couple hours. Of gameplay and it probably will I have a very open mind and honestly thus far I'm not I'm not disappointed for the price point it's very expensive uh, currently it's 15% off at base price of 20 bucks down to like 17 give or take it's not it's not a cheap game especially for what they currently have in the game it, it feels like they made a very early tech demo and then decided to put it on Steam early access because that's how they're get, getting funding I don't think this game was kickstarted. I don't think it got an Indiegogo. I could be wrong on these things, uh, but it, that's kind of like that's kind of what it feels like. Hey, this is like iron. I've been mostly getting gold here. I think this is iron anyway. Uh, but so, unless you're like really, really down to clown with early access games, this might end up feeling a little bit stress—not stressful, a little bit bad. Honestly, I I, I want to like this game, but it really does remain to be seen where they go from this. So. Cautionary word, if you're looking for a complete game, this is not it. Hold off. That said, if you like early access games, I can see the potential in this one. The visuals are great. I love the character model. I mean, I'm effectively some kind of weird, like... I don't know. I want to say, like, I'm an orc, but I'm not an orc. It just... I, I have, like, orcish... orcish... 
tropes. Really, I'm just like some big hulking dude with a sword. But, you know, I, I love the character design, the 3D modelism, uh, the 3D modelism, the 3D minimalism, 3D modeling, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's, ooh, oh, what the, oh, ow. It's the first time I've gotten smacked around here, and this thing is tough. Holy crap. That said, I think I outrange it. Nope. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, I outrange it. It's kind of pitiful, actually. Okay. So, this game, it's a sandbox game. Effectively, I'm just rolling around looking for resources, looking for loot, equipment, pretty much anything I can find. Food is a very rare resource in this game. And so, as such, uh, I, if you notice in the bottom left, I'm actually slowly starving. My health is a little bit low, too. I need to work on that one. Is this, is this also iron? I should probably actually pull up my resources here. Oh, that was coal I found earlier. I don't have any iron. Oh wait, I do have some iron ore. Not much though. Maybe it's from these rocks. I have no idea. I have no idea what the basic resources are, are like in this game. And unfortunately, there's no there's no like beginner information as far as this game goes. It's purely just it purely throws you to the wolves, which I'm not 100% keen on. Like I feel like I feel like they could have done a better job of kind of introducing the game mechanics at least. Uh, at least Minecraft had, like, a series of, like, achievements kind of associated with, like, this is kind of how you do things. Uh, let's see. Let's just dig our way over to this gold vein. I don't actually even know if gold is remotely useful. Okay. So, uh, I like the visuals. I will admit that. Uh, let's see. What else about this game uh, should I even talk about? Because, honestly, there's not much. Performance-wise, it's actually really, really well-optimized from what I can tell. I could be wrong about that one. I, I I could run into serious issues either that or I could be one of the lucky ones. Uh, I'll be honest. After Batman Arkham Asylum, I trust nothing. But or not Asylum, Arkham Knight. But currently, I'm getting about 500 FPS, which is a little bit excessive. But you know what? That works as long as I'm not getting like five. Okay. Uh, musically, there is no music to this game, at least as far as I'm concerned. That it's just it's just pure bare bones sound effects. If not. As far as I can tell, they only have just a very, very small amount of music in the game. And it might or might not be stock sounds. So if, uh, if you're listening to this right now and you're like, oh, this is fairly nice background music. No, I brought that I brought that uh, along myself. And, you know, it's, it's, not a, it's not a big deal. Honestly, early access games don't need music yet. It's kind of lower on the rung. I'm just going to start shoving food into my face. Unfortunately, there's no, like, eating animation or anything like that, which I, I guess I can kind of understand, but still. Okay. So how do we, how do we even deal with this situation? Like, how do we even have, where do we even get iron? I don't know. I have no idea. I really do not know what I'm doing apart from, like, wandering around mining this stuff until I can make something, uh, which is kind of unfortunate. Uh, I guess it's the curse of the open world sandbox game, especially the ones with little to no uh, tutorial. But let's take a look at what we can craft. We can make uh, pit spikes, torches. Uh, let's see, what else can we make? Decorations, that's not useful. A door, we can make a doormat, a grave, a gramophone, a campfire, a furnace, a workbench. And a bunch of like gold and stuff like that. Okay, like a bow. Hey, 30 wood at a work, workbench, let's give that a go. Okay, so, oh. No, I forgot. Don't press escape. Okay. Huh. The PvP is enabled right up, right from the onset. That's confusing. Okay, can I just get around this? Yeah, I can just walk around this. Okay. So, do not hit escape. It does not pull up a menu. It actually just effectively disconnects you from the server. Now, I say server. This game is multiplayer. So, if you're actually looking for a good multiplayer sandbox game, this game actually... I'm, I'm going to use the P word here, but has potential. I don't know. I haven't I haven't logged on to a multiplayer server yet. I have yet to actually meet another person and I'm a little bit leery to do so. There is PVP in this game, but you might it might has to it might have to be consensual. Uh, that said you can like steal steal resources from other people and stuff like that. So I wouldn't be surprised if uh Oh yeah, we do actually need to kill these guys. I wouldn't actually be surprised if like for the most part it, except for somebody stealing your stuff players can't really affect each other yet in the game, which I, w I would appreciate. Hey, it looks like I'm back to full health somehow. I don't know if that was natural healing or what, but still. Oh, that bat is still alive. I'm not getting any more meat from it, though. 
Uh, from the bats, though. That's a bit unfortunate. We'll figure it out. Oh! Do I have to, like, destroy the bat corp? Nope. Alright, never mind. Wrong about that one. Okay. Uh, so this game actually has multiplayer. Don't know about the functionality. It's Unity, so I assume it's kind of got just basic, bare-bones, built-in multiplayer. But, that said, for a sandbox game that already has multiplayer enabled, that's pretty good. Uh, that said, I mean, that doesn't necessarily mean it's truly worth it, but from what I've heard, uh, doing multiplayer, like, actually playing multiplayer is the way to go as far as this game goes. It's a little bit bare-bones for, you know, solo play. But, ooh, found it! But one, once you get past, you know, what? Oh, shoot, plant. Should pay attention to that stuff. Okay, let's start digging around for a second. I'm gonna dig my way into this house, and then if I can't find my my way to the actual ent entrance, we're gonna dig our way around. Oh wait, no, th this is this is another one. Okay, perfect. So what are we doing here? Um, possibly going into a situation that we personally can't deal with. I. Okay, I'm actually doing damage to him. I was worried about that for a second here. Oh, we have to worry about the plant. Ow. He really has quite the long range there. Should probably actually look into upgrading my weapons. I do have a fair amount of gold and stuff like that. Are all of these guys... The, all of these guys are skeleton captains. Alright, scratch this business. I'll come back later. Uh, so, what was that? That was a dungeon. Dungeons are one of the main draw points of this game. And currently... I haven't really seen a whole lot of... Ooh. I haven't seen a whole lot of use for them. This, this is a trap door, but it doesn't seem to lead anywhere. Oh, hey. Oh, ooh. Wait, no. Con container has nothing. Oh, no, don't press escape. Okay. So don't press escape. Uh, let's see. So can we use any of this stuff? No. So the trap door is currently meaningless. Okay, so I'm just I'm just going to use this as a base of operations. Looks like we're pretty close to the edge of the world. There might be more out... Oh, yeah, there's plenty more out here. Well, I'm just going to pretend that I, I know what I'm doing. Okay, so there's multiplayer. Uh, this flare here that I just put up will actually illuminate the area and also let other players know where I am. So I'm kind of hoping that, that that flare just stays there for a while. Uh, you know, ideally, so I can keep finding my way back, but ultimately, ultimately, ultimately it doesn't really matter. Okay, so let's let's build us a workbench, let's build us a furnace, and I don't know if we need a campfire or not, so I'm just gonna, going to assume as, as not. So let's get this crafting bench up, compress space to rotate things, uh, you know, s simple enough. It's It's got the trappings of, the, of like a, a basic, oh shoot, well that's pointed the wrong direction. Okay, let's see if I can make anything with this. Okay, Julius Jew table, four gold. I had gold, right? Yes, gold ore. Okay, so furnace. Let's see if I can make me some gold. Yes. Hey, there's no time. There's no time sunk into this. That's good. Looks like I had a fair amount of iron. Iron plates, lock, coal, wood. Oh, you can make coal from uh, wood. Okay, that's useful. So, do we already have an iron sword? What is this thing? Really wish it would tell me. Okay, so I have a sword. It is. It is, okay, it is It is an iron sword. So making another one of these is meaningless, unless dual wielding is a thing. Don't think so. Okay, let's spend some wood. Let's get ourselves a bow. Ice stone, fire stone. Wow. Okay, tempered iron sword. So we need 10 more iron and we can up, upgrade our sword. Looks like a lot of uh, a lot of weapons work off of kind of the, the upgrade tree system. So instead of just being able to build this straight out, you need to you know, have like a base component for it. Yeah, works for me. Iron chest, don't care. Stone wall, castle wall. What are these things? Explosive fire rings. Cool. Okay, two, two gold at a jeweler's table. I don't have one of those yet, but it might not be a bad idea to look into. Flooring, traps, can- Oh, I've heard good things about the cannon. Uh, somebody said, put the uh, put a cannon in a dungeon and, and watch what happens. So I, I can see how that would be kind of fun along the way. Okay, these are just decorative, don't care. Gramophone, don't care. Uh, I've already got an anvil. I stole one from somebody's house, which seems to have actually been a good idea. Okay, and we can make flares, which are fairly cheap. Good. Okay, so in that case, I'm just going to hold on to my research. Damn it! Yeah, every time I press escape, it puts me out to the server browser, and going back to a server just results in, in nothing working. Okay, so let's, let's pull out our anvil. Let's plonk it down here. 
Here's the question. Is my... No, oh, shoot. My... My, um... Huh. My, fla my flare marker is gone. Okay, so I'm just gonna have to vaguely remember where my house is. Well, it's the one with the uh, the pit of death, so hopefully we can go find some iron. Unfortunately, that might be a bit of a bit of a task, but eh, whatever. Uh, we've got plenty of potatoes around yet. Yeah, this actually seems like a pretty good place to have uh, plunked down a base. I just again, hope I can get back to it, because it looks like we've got a couple other places here and there. Oh, hey, that's that's a random uh, random NPC. That's cool. I wonder if he's violent. He might be after I steal all of his potatoes. I have no regrets. I have some regrets. Okay. Now the one thing I haven't figured out how to do yet is where to get wood. It might be in a different world. I can show that off in a second. Ah, uh, let's see. So what am I missing? We've got crafting. I just did that. We've got the basic structures. Got that. Combat. I wanted to show off a dungeon, but there's no way I'm going to be able to do enough damage to do that without, you know, just effectively cycling around things for, for effectively the next two hours, ruining the entire review. Now, I might be able to strip this guy's house down to its absolute bare bones for resources, but I doubt that's going to be how it works. Okay, so, speaking of resources, nothing in this game is currently renewable, so if you mine out entire, an entire world, an entire area, it will not come back. So, all of this iron will not respawn, uh, which is kind of annoying, actually. So, uh, I guess the more you play this game, the more you're going to have to kind of head out and like find new stuff which really isn't that big of a deal because you can just keep creating new worlds so you know if you're a minecraft person if you're a terraria person you're probably already used to it but for this game it doesn't feel that necessary to you know have have i guess limited resources especially with you know actual landmarks and stuff like that that you want to get back to i'm not sure if the world is finite or infinite yet i have yet to actually figure that one out but so let's go see about this guy Oh shit, the old man is murdering me. Oh god, he actually, he is quite punchy. Well, let's murder the crap out of him. Goddamn old man. Okay, how much health does he have? Way more health than I'm probably able to do. Okay, time to leave. Let's go back to our, our little hidey home. I got, I just got 16 iron. We might be able to get a tempered wooden blade. Oh, interesting. You, you heal at the cost of food. Makes sense. Where'd my door go? My door is gone. Okay, well, let's just, let's just, you know... Ah, wooden stone. I have no more wood. Oh, this is not good. Uh, I have no idea how to. I have no idea how to get wood in this game. That is one major, major issue that I'm running into. Okay, well, let's grab a bunch of that. I'll try topping worlds next. So, iron, coal, anvil. Do I not have? Coal? I have no more. Oh, I sp I spent one too many. Oh, I'm a damn fool. Oh wait, no. I I can make coal from the one remaining uh the two remaining wood that i still have oh this seems like a terrible idea then again when am i when am i uh person of good ideas here uh, where's where's the coal it's on the resource bar isn't it here we go you feel like trees should be one of the most like available things in the game and as far as i can tell not so much so maybe it's just the world i spawned in on okay tempered iron sword i've got five coal ten iron I need, I need to be next to the anvil, don't I? There we go. Okay, now we've upgraded our weapon. Let's go see what we can do with this. Probably not much. Probably still die. I'd like to make a jeweler's table too, but I think that's outside of our... Uh, outside of our ability to make jeweler's table. Golden workbench. Oh, I need to make another work workbench, and I have no good wood. Okay, so in that case, let's uh, try the world map. So I'm on world, world zero. Let's go to world one. Oh. Oh, shoot. World map. Back to zero. Oh, no. Okay. Well, that's annoying. Uh, so let's go, go into our inventory. Let's actually equip this sword. Instead of just leaving it there. Can I, like, equip the bow in my offhand? Nope. Looks like I got the sword. Nope. Well, let's let's see if this works. Disconnected from server, wanderbot, created, yeah. Yeah, see, it just dumps me back in with this. Okay, so that is actually a persistent bug. Okay, so we got that. Can I, how do you switch weapons in this game? They actually mentioned this in the tutorial video I saw. 
What if I what if I put it under R? No. There? Nope. If I drag it to the character. Okay, so currently it does not look like switching weapons. Almost press escape again. Hab old habits die very, very hard. Okay. So if we pull up the minimap. Actually, you know what? Let's switch worlds for the time being. I've run out of I've run out of specific resources, and I'm going to be in trouble if I don't. Oh, hello! Upgrading that sword is a, has made a massive difference in my damage output. I can totally just cut through uh, skeleton captains now, which is good. Also, it looks like we've got a buddy. So, I believe at the very beginning of every level, you get a buddy. They will follow you around occasion, uh, and I don't know, I'm not sure how long they follow you around for, but uh, looks like this is actually a much better starting world to work with anyway. Um, but so they'll run around fighting things, it more or less makes make sure that spawn is safe. Now, here's the unfortunate part. There's no way of uh, triggering your respawn. So if you die or if you switch worlds, your character will automatically respawn in the same location every single time, which is here. Uh, it's not really a big deal, but for me it's kind of annoying just because it's like, I would like to get back to that house that I took over. Uh, because... Uh, I guess squatter's rights are important, but uh, un unfortunately means I'm going to have to go walking back and uh, I'll probably eventually make some kind of like sign system so I know exactly how to get back. But, I mean, ultimately, this character's probably not going to, uh, this character, this character might or might not last for a long time. I don't know. I, I guess the character is persistent. I have yet to figure out how death works. I'm actually slowly starving myself to death on purpose. Holy crap, you get a lot of wood from trees. Okay. Uh, so that that's really good to know. Um, but so I, I'm slowly starving to death just to see what will happen when I die. Hey, there's a ring. Let's try putting it on. Uh, ring. Ring. There we go. As far as I can tell, it does nothing. So we've got a bunch of gravestones. We've got this is a creepy ass forest. We've got a lot of base resources here. Okay, so I guess base recommendation is uh. Before you really get into the game, before you start exploring too much, start actually... Oh, jeez, these guys these guys are much faster. Oh, they're much faster, much much harder hitting. Okay, uh, but, you know, pop between multiple worlds and, you know, see what's up. Uh, see what resources you can grab, especially with the safety of the, the NPC to... Well, uh, the safety he provides. I don't even know what that is. But unfortunately, the NPC will not follow you very far. That's some coal, that's useful. Yeah, see, this this is a much stronger start. Has a bunch of, like, random resources that are actually kind of useful. I don't know if these flowers are any good. Oh, it's corn. That's not flowers. Cool. Uh, but so, yeah, effectively strip mine everything that you can without going too far from spawn. And then pick a world to go through. It seems like world one is the... Oh, hello. Well, now that I actually have a good sword, and that's a treasure chest, let's, uh... Let's go see. Are these guys just trapped in a chain? They are. All right. Well, uh, glorious combat and stuff, right? I'm starving. Oh, he followed me. Go, Sven, go. I think his name is Sven. I hope his name is Sven. I am almost dead. Oh, I see. Because I'm hungry, I'm not healing anymore. I'm now dead. Okay, well, I can get back to this fairly quickly, fairly easily. Unless I can't get back up. There we go. Okay, so it it looks like death is not that much of a death is not that much of a setback. Let's grab this iron. Now that we're past this, is this the way I went? I have no idea. Luckily, the mini map is persistent. Okay. So wrapping up, let's let's go check out those chests. I've pretty much shown off the extent of this game. Uh, there are boss monsters. I have yet to actually interact with one. I have yet to actually see one. And honestly, I don't think I'm going to be able to see one for quite a little while. Uh, let's see. So death. Death is actually not nearly as bad as I thought it would be. You do lose your resources. That is absolutely a thing. However, you don't lose nearly as much as I expected you would. Oh, shoot. The random treasure chests are just completely meaningless. We just invaded their, their little burial chamber. There's also no door in and out, so they effectively barricaded themselves in there. That's kind of grim. Uh, but... Okay, that's a lot of lizard archers. That's a that's that's the lizard man. You hurt. You hurt quite a lot. Uh but so how much health Oh, it's a lizard captain. Go figure. Okay, but uh you know, overall it doesn't seem like there's too much of a penalty for death. There is one, but if you've got a friend around, or you know, if you're fairly good, fairly common, whatever, it shouldn't be a big deal. It does not look like you lose 
everything. In fact, you absolutely do not lose everything. You lose a small amount of equipment, and that's about it. Wow, this world is much more rife with resources. Uh, so I'll keep that in mind for the future. This is a bunch of skeletons. Doesn't look like there's anything here. Yeah. But, uh, so, let's, let's wrap this up. Uh, disappointed that that mini dungeon wasn't actually a mini dungeon. This is like a graveyard place. It's kind of neat. I'm just gonna blitz through it, because I'm a lot faster than skeletons. Okay, so, overall impressions of the game. It's very bare bones. It's very limited. Honestly, I think it should probably have a couple more months of development before it really hits Steam. Purely because I don't feel like there's enough here to actually keep everybody's interest for longer than, you know, a little while. That said, if they can manage to patch this game every couple of weeks or something like that, I would be okay with it being on early access. Really, really does depend on whether or not this was a cash grab, or a, like, we need people to test this game and give us feature requests and stuff like that. And, you know, if that's the case, then sure, fun. Oh, wow, that's a lot of iron. Hmm. Um... But, you know, really does depend. I would say wait and see, maybe two weeks before buying this game. That said, if this this all looks pretty good to you right now, then I'd recommend picking it up. I'm actually enjoying myself, and I'm going to see if I can rope Birdcatcher into picking it up as well. Because I think we could have a lot of fun uh, going through the game together. Because currently, like, it's, it's gorgeous. I love this visual style. I like cheesing lizard archers by going back and forth. Actually, it looks like they just have a very, very slow attack speed. All right, that works. But, uh, you know, just, it's a very pretty game. I uh, wish the, wish they had music, because I get the feeling this game would have pretty, pretty fun, pretty goofy music along the way. And, you know, I assume once things get a little bit tighter, a little bit more interesting, that gameplay will improve as well. Because uh, currently, I mean, the comment is effectively just hit things for a while. I didn't mention this, but, like, armor and rings and stuff give you special abilities. Same thing with swords. I don't actually know what this gear does. Oh, that gear just opens up the inventory menu. Yeah, that, that works. Also, there's a help menu, which is pretty bare bones. Let's pull it up again, actually. So these are just, you know, the the basics of how to move. Oh, yeah, I never actually talked about mining. You just go up to something, right-click on it, and it, uh, after a couple seconds, goes into your inventory. That's about, it, that's about as bare bones as you can get. Honestly, I hope they, they, uh, put in some kind of, like, multi-tool, upgradable multi-tool mining pickaxe type, type deal. Just because sitting there and waiting to right-click on stuff does feel a little bit uh, cheap. Anyway, so a price tag of 20 bucks is a little bit steep for effectively an incredibly bare-bones sandbox game. That said, if you like procedurally generated sandbox uh, whatever stuff, I can see why this would be good. I'm, I'm definitely going to keep playing it. I'm going to see if I can max out my armor, run around and raid a dungeon and stuff like that. Because this is currently wetting the, uh, the taste for adventure that don't starve. Uh, kind of failed to fail to wet. I probably should actually work on killing these guys instead of just wandering around with my hand off the mouse. Anyway, uh, so overall, I like this game. I would recommend. Well, they're gone. Uh, I would recommend it to those of you that are really patient with with uh, early access games. Glorious combat. I'm going to die so hard right now. I think that's a boss with explosive arrows and stuff. Or a wizard. Who are you? Ah, it's a lizard mage. Die before. Die before it becomes a problem, and I'm dead. Ha! Okay. Uh, but... Actually, can I pull up the map so I know exactly where I am? Oh. I have no idea where I am. Oh. Well, that's easy enough. Ah, uh, but, you know, it's super early access, but I do actually enjoy it. Wait. I'm in that tomb from earlier. Right. Enemies respawn. Duh. I was wondering about that. Well, let's go kill these guys. Okay, so there's sort of a mini boss in each mini dungeon, even if there's no mini treasures to obtain for winning. Okay, it's a shame. I'm sure it'll get better over time. I hope it gets better over time, because this really does seem like the kind of thing that I would enjoy playing for hours on end uh, as it develops. So, I'm going to effectively make that into a bit of a promise that I will at least keep a keep my eye on the development of this game and cover each patch. Hopefully, doing a full series on it, uh, kind of depending on performance and, you know, functionality and just depth. But, uh, pretty much with that, that's kind of my impressions of the game. It's good. I want to see more before I can really have a good opinion on it, so I'll probably do, like, a, a beta review or something like that, because currently it's an alpha. Uh, but, you know, for now, th this is what Orlight is. It's not a bad game. It's just very, very shallow for the time being. So... If you liked this impressions video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. It helps more than you know. If you have any questions, if you know more about... Honestly, if there's anything I missed, leave a comment below. 
And if you want, oh, you know what? The, that's a good question. Let's see if this even works. It's probably this is probably gonna fail. The one thing I forgot to do. Let's try joining a server. Oh, never mind. They're all uh, they're all on a different patch note here. Well, validated, authenticated. Okay, here we go. Looks like I've joined another server. No problem. It looks like it's not uh, not populated in any way, shape, or form. Okay, that's not so bad. Uh, so yeah, multiplayer should work. I've yet to test with friends. Yeah, come back in a couple of days. Looks like there's a little bit of weird glitchiness. I'll have to take a look at that there. Anyway, so as far as single player goes, oh, somebody made made this hut and put the door in wrong. What a dink. Okay. Uh, I don't even know dink is like a reasonable word to use here. But I guess we get to see what they've done. Okay. But as I was saying, uh, if they're... Oh, hey, this is my house. Just not my house. Oh. But, uh, yeah. So if you know anything I don't, leave a comment below. And if you want to see more Orlite or Indie Impressions videos, uh, hit subscribe because I'm going to be doing a lot more. Probably this game as it develops. As well as, like, currently what I have, what what is available in the game. And, uh, you know, in the future. So, I guess with that, this has been Wonderbot trying out Oralite. And I guess I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.